This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we give you. We'll get this done. How's it going everybody? This is Adam with Adrenaline Cycles again, coming at you with a video today, talking about some of the Can-Am on-road stuff. Uh, today, specifically, we're gonna be talking about the Can-Am uh, Spider F3, and this one's the limited edition. Uh, before we get too much into the unit here, let me go ahead and get you guys to hit that like and subscribe down below. We're getting a ton of people viewing the videos. We just need to get you guys to subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps us out and allows us to be able to do a few more things and different things and giveaways and whatnot on the channel here. If we can get you guys to you know, do your part by just like and subscribe, it doesn't cost anything and it just really does help us out. Um, back to the unit, like I said, this is a new colorway for this year. This is a 2022 model. Um, it just come in and it was missing one component and the component showed up about three days later and we put it on. So this thing is ready to go. Um, we've had it here at the shop now probably two days. The colorway on this unit is, is really new for 2022. On the Can-Am chart to order it, when I order my spiders, it says plasma red, but uh, I know BRP refers to it in a lot of video as Viper red. Uh, it's a really nice red color. It's not the orangey tint red. I mean, it is a true red color. Um, as you'll see, the wheels are, you know, a matte uh, titanium color, which looks really, really good. And you also get that colorway carried through up here on the top around the tank and the shrouds up here. Um, looks really, really good. Like I said, this is a limited uh, F3. Really, really nice unit. Um, as you can see here, it's got just the standard windshield. When you bump up to the RT Limiteds, you get the automatic ones where you can raise it up or down. This one's just a fixed in the position. Um, it does have some nice little storage here for your phone, so you can you know put it in there, and that also allows you to charge it and connect to the system here through the dash, which is a BRP Connect, and it lets you do your radio and everything through that. But as you can see here, you got the the radio up here in the dash and you can control all that from your hand controls which is really nice um, like i said here it tells you even the rear cargo latch is open and, and we'll show you that um, here's all your controls this is a six speed automatic and here's the shift up and the machine will shift down for you but if you like to shift it down there's a shift down button on the front so you can shift up or down which works out really cool um, it's got reverse so you can go you know back up and things on this you don't have to push anything anymore uh, you know, your basic functions for your lights, your turn signals, horn. You, like I said, you got your radio controls here. It can be functioned through this and the volume up and down here. Plus, you also have the keypad down here, which will let you do the same thing up here, down here. You can switch songs, pause, volume up, down. Pick if you want to listen to the radio or your Bluetooth or whatever you want to do. Really cool stuff. This model being the limited, you also get heated grips and uh, that's a really nice feature for driver and passenger this is the driver one turns on up here really simple so on those cooler mornings when you take off before it's really warmed up during the day you can keep your hands toasty it has it back here for the passenger as well to heat these for the passenger you can see the switch there so that's really cool really nice feature to have these models do have cruise control as well which is a really nice feature this also has air ride in the back so you get a really good ride um, and it's just going to be super plush for you and your passenger or just you whoever's out riding the thing so that's some really cool features um you know tons of storage on this unit really guys up front here we'll show you some stuff the hood lifts up here and you got a lot of storage down in here this is where like we keep the owner's manuals and things like that but in behind this box is where the battery is so everything's pretty close to get to if you did need to you got a nice seal around here to help you know keep out the elements and everything on this box i mean it, it'll work good like i said um, if you want to put you know if you're going on a long trip you might have like a small cooler to put in there like i said it's got abundant storage this is just one little spot another feature to note is the fog lights down in the front that's also part of this package being the limited and the really nice grill in the front is part of this setup as well so got a lot of features on this unit a really nice setup, a really, really good color. Um, coming down the back, um, we'll talk some about the side storage. 
Um, again, just storage everywhere on this thing, guys. You can open this up and, and put more stuff in here, like a rain suit or anything like that. Um, just whatever you want to take with you if, you if you're going on a day trip, a long ride, or anything like that. Um, you got some more speakers here in the back, plus a nice backrest for your passenger. So with the radio set up on this thing, you get a really good, you know, surround sound type of feel, even when you're out on the road. Um, on the back here, you'll notice this color really does still tie in to the front wheels, being that um, almost like a, uh, just a matte titanium color. But this is new for this year. This little rack on top will let you put, if you want to take sleeping bags or, you know, something, you know, to put on this, uh, you know, ideally to me, I just probably have my helmet on here, just easy access to get it on and off uh, the, the bike here and, uh, just have it, you know, at close if I need it, or even a passenger helmet, say I take off and I wind up, you know, going over to, you know, a family member's house and, you know, oh, can I go for a ride with you? Yeah. You know, you got a helmet here, just easy access to get to. Um, so really cool. You can lift up the back here. You'll see this storage box here will hold two full adult helmets in there. Again, if you're traveling, you know, and doing your thing, you can lock your helmets up in here. It is, it does have a lock and it is, you know, able to be secured in here. If you're in Gatlinburg and going into the restaurant to eat, you know, and packing helmets in, you can put them in here. A really good spot to have. Um, this, you know, it just shuts down and locks. Uh, you notice it does have a third brake light here and then integrated lights here. All in all, a really, really nice unit. Um, it's going to have this year new as well is the 115 horsepower on these models. They've stepped that up from 105 in the past. Um, so they're 115 horsepower now. So that's, you know, got you a little more pep in your step. But these things run out good, guys. Um, they perform really well. It's just a pleasure to ride these. If you haven't been on one, uh, you need to come try them out. It, also, if you're... Uh, um, on a different, you know, two wheel model bike right now and, and you're getting to the point to where, you know, the thing's pretty heavy or it's just not doing what you want it to do, doesn't have the storage that you want. Um, check these bikes out. You still get the, you know, the experience of being on the open road, the wind in your hair, you know, the performance that you want um, on a machine that's, you know, really uh, a good bargain compared to some of these other two wheel, you know, brands out there. Um, and like I said, it's just loaded with features. I mean, the safety features with ABS, you know, it does have electric power steering, so that makes it so much easier to steer these things. I mean, it's just got a lot going for us. So check out your dealer to, you know, if you're local to us, please come by here. But we know people watch these videos all over the place. Um, they're really nice. Uh, you know, this one's really decked out. It's got a lot of stuff on it, but there's still some accessories you can put on here. The aftermarket's getting really good uh, about supporting, you know, cool, accessories to put on these things too you know can-am has a lot but we all know that you know the aftermarket companies see other you know opportunities and they come out with products that work really well the seating on this has some nice you know um you know red stitching to kind of tie in with the you know the color of the bike and then they're just super soft guys anybody that sits on these or comes in and, and uh, has any dealings with them or has got one they all just rave about how the seats are like a memory foam and it's even on their ATVs, the seats are super soft. I mean, I can go over to another brand and push on the seat and uh, the thing's like as stiff as a board. I mean, these are just super soft, super plush. You know, they're, you know, made out of nice material. They're gonna last, they're gonna hold up, they're gonna do their job. That's about it on this model, guys. Like I said, um, re really nice bike, um, plenty of power. Uh, you know, with the electric shift, you just, you know, bump through the gears and it does everything you want it to. And like I said, especially if you want to take a passenger with you, dude, it's effortless to get out on the road and get the wind in your hair and just enjoy, you know, being out and not being cooped up anymore. Um, as always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching the video and make sure you click that like and subscribe down below. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, just post them down below here and I'll try to answer them the best I can and help you guys out.